Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about how to compute the income elasticity of demand and cross price elasticity of demand. So let's first look at this question. OK, so it tells you that shoppers, the family, OK, have a monthly income of four thousand dollars and then they usually add out eight times a month. OK, now the couple makes forty five hundred dollars per month then they would like to eat 10 times a month. And this question asks you to compute the income elasticity of demand by using the midpoint methods. Okay. So the income elasticity of demand measures how demand changes response to the income changes. Okay. And based on the midpoint methods, we also have three steps. Okay. The first step we need to compute the percentage change in demand. Okay, so that will be our step one. We need to compute the percentage change in demand. Okay, and based on this question, okay, let me just write down the information first. When the couple has income equal to $4,000 per month, they would like to eat out right at eight times per month if the income increase to forty five hundred dollars then they would like to eat ten times in a restaurant right so based on this first we can compute the percentage change in quantity not the percentage change in demand it will equal to 10 minus 8, that will be the differences in the quantity demand, the differences in demand, sorry, divide the average of the demand, okay? So this will give us percentage change in demand will nearly equal to 22.22%, okay? And then for the second step, based on the midpoint methods, we need to compute, this is our second step, okay? We need to compute the percentage change in income, okay? So the percentage change in income, in this case, it will equal to $4,500, that will be the new income, right? Minus the previous income, divide the average of the income for this two months, okay? So this will give you the percentage change in income nearly equal to this one nearly equal to eleven point seventy nine percent. Okay, and then based on this for the last step, we can compute the income elasticity of demand. So income elasticity of demand in this case now finally it will equal to the percentage change in demand divide the percentage change in income. So we'll use nearly 22.22% divide 11.76%. It will give us finally equal to 1.89 okay so based on this you might notice the income elasticity of demand is positive which means this positive has the special meaning okay so you might notice now the income elasticity is positive okay this number here is positive and positive has the special meaning because it tells you if you have more income you would like to consume more of those products. So those products, they are normal goods. It will tell you they are normal goods. If based on your calculation, your income elasticity is negative, okay? If I just write it down another notes here, okay? If the income elasticity is negative, then it means this product is inferior goods. Is inferior goods. So such as the frozen pizza. Okay. Nowadays, probably you need to maybe purchase the frozen pizza. 
from grocery stores. However, once you graduated, you find a good job, you have a decent salary, then your consumption of frozen pizza might decrease. Make sense or not? So, for the inferior goods, the demand of the products is negatively related to the income changes. Okay. However, for the normal goods, based on our calculations here. The restaurant meal, right? Once the couple has more income, they would like to eat more times, many times, right? More times in a restaurant. Therefore, this restaurant meal is a normal goods for this couple. Okay. So here, the sign of their income elasticity have the special meaning. You cannot just use the absolute value as what we have in. The price elasticity of demand.